Hello everyone, before we start this video, if I could ask you to give United24 Media a subscribe on YouTube. We put out some great content and have some new videos up which are definitely worth a watch. Now, on to today's video. Hello everyone, some awesome footage here from Snake Island. I didn't think I would be returning to Snake Island, but here we are. This shows a skirmish from May the 8th, 2022. So we can see small Ukrainian boats around the island, at the same time a Russian and 26 is carrying out a supply drop. Missiles are fired from the small boats, most likely from man pads, as I'm not aware of any small Ukrainian boats equipped with air defence missiles. So the story of what happened here comes from a Russian source, so take it with a big hefty pinch of salt. It happened on May the 8th, 2022 when the battle for Snake Island was in full swing. Our small garrison fought off the Ukrainian landings for days, constantly being under the blows of the enemy drones and aircraft, and at some point they became very much in need of help with equipment, weapons and ammunition. Of the air defence means the garrison had two man pads left, and the connection with the mainland was lost. To help the garrison, an AN-26 of the Black Sea Fleet was marshalled. Radio stations, satellite phones and other necessary equipment were loaded into the plane. They went in extremely low, literally cutting the waves with the propellers, successfully carried out a drop right in the midst of a battle of the island. Thank God before departure we thought of gluing the letter Z with masking tape, which probably saved us from friendly fire. After the cargo drop, when turning on the reverse course, a high-speed boat of the Ukrainians was noticed from which two launchers from man pads were made on the aircraft. So again, take that story with a pinch of salt, as it is likely greatly exaggerated. Now let's check out some screenshots. So the south is at the top of the screen here, and we can see a largest boat circling. Further north and closer to the island, we can see a small patrol boat. There's also smoke coming from the island itself. This screenshot here, we can see the AN-26 passing over at a high speed and at low altitude, with a contrail of a man pad pointed out by the arrow. The observing drone zooms out, showing us that the AN-26, which I believe may be this white object in a small blue box here, made a pass from south to north over the island. Highlighted in the large box is the contrail from the man pad. Now this is curious, given its location, it appears to have been launched very close to the island, if not on the island itself. There aren't any boats visible. Now this could be Ukrainians who landed on the island, or it could be a case of possible friendly fire. But I don't think that's the case, I do think the manpad came from the south over the sea, in this rough direction, with only part of the contrail visible as it nears and misses the AN-26. A final screenshot, another manpad launch, this time definitely from one of the boats. So pretty interesting. It's certainly a pretty brave operation to carry out a fast, low altitude resupply of Snake Island like that, with a threat of anti-air missiles from gunboats, and it did work. The AN-26 did return to Russia. We still don't know the full extent of what happened in May on Snake Island, but as more footage and photos trickle in, we are getting more of an idea. So that's it for this video, I hope you found it interesting. If so, please click like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Thanks again, and take care everyone.